In this video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate variance for a population. The important thing here when it comes to the formula is understanding the symbols and where it differs from the sample variance. Because on your test, you may just be asked, all right, well, what's S squared equal? What, what's sigma squared equal? And you just need to know the formula. At basically, is it an N or is it an N minus one that you're dividing by? So in this case, you have sigma squared. Sigma represents standard deviation. Sigma squared represents variance. And the variance equals the summation of each x minus mu squared over n. The population I'm using is the four numbers I used in my previous examples with standard deviation and variance, 2, 5, 9, and 12, except this is a, the totality of what you're looking at, not simply a sample. And again, that's to emphasize when going through the process just where the, the change is. And I'm using the same numbers so you can see that change if you were to look at all of the answers for all of the different videos. The first thing you need to do if it's not given to you is calculate mu, which is the sum of each x over n, which is 2 plus 5 plus 9 plus 12 over 4, which equals 28 over 4, which equals 7. The next thing you need to do is calculate the summation of each x minus mu squared. So we got to take 2 minus 7 squared, and then the 5 minus 7 squared, and then 9 minus 7 squared, and then 12 minus 7 squared, and then add them all up. So this is what it gets when you get simplified. You got negative 5 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 5 squared. This yields 25 plus 4 plus 4 plus 25. Remember, when it comes to negatives, when you multiply a negative with another negative, you get a positive. And then finally, you get 58. The next thing we have to do is just plug it back into the formula. So we have sigma squared equals 58 over n, which is 58 over 4, which is 14.5. That's not rounding, that's just what the answer is. And if you want the standard deviation for that, you just take the square root of 14.5. This is the process and how do you get the variance and ultimately also how you get the standard deviation. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.